here, I'm going to show you how to toggle sections of a worksheet on or off. Basically, how to hide them or show them again and without any VBA or code. And it's going to work like this. Let's say you have an input section, you only want to see it sometimes, and then you want it out of the way. Well, now it's gone. And now it's back. And we don't have any code. You can also click the one up here or the two. It is so easy to do, so let me show you how it works. Here we have the regular worksheet, and this is just a regular worksheet, by the way, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And now there's no way to hide or show it unless I use VBA. But what you can do is to select all of the rows and at least select one above it and one below it, the thing you want to hide, especially if you're working with shapes like this. And then go to the Data tab and go to Group. Technically, we are grouping these rows. And there's a keyboard shortcut if you want, Shift-Alt-Right. But I'm not certain that you're going to use this enough to need a keyboard shortcut. And that's it. Now you are done. You have a form that you can hide and show at will. Now it can be kind of annoying to have this thing over here with a plus and the minus and the one and the two, but at least it makes it very easy to hide and show it. So let's say that you have a bunch of data down here. In my premium VBA course, I have an example like this, where I have an input form here, and you want to input some stuff and then hide this, but have it stay on the same worksheet so that you can go about all of your work down here. And then whenever you need to input or edit the data, that form will re-show itself once again. Now, the only other thing you have to pay attention to is these buttons and the rounded corners. So both of these are shapes. This is as well a shape, and you need to make sure that it will move and size with cells. So if you're building out a spreadsheet, what I recommend that you do is get everything right at first, have your buttons set to don't move or size with cells or just move but don't size with cells, and then at the end, when you want to hide everything, go ahead and right click and go to size and properties, which is off the screen right now, but it'll take you right here. Then go to properties and choose move and size with cells. Usually you don't want this option because it can lead to your buttons and your shapes getting distorted when you change columns or rows. But so that's why you want to save that setting until the very end and then set the button and set your rounded rectangle right here also to move and size with cells. Otherwise, what you end up with is something like this. Move, but don't size with cells, and you go to hide this, and your button is still there. And that is not good. But that's all there is to it. And now you know how to hide or toggle worksheet sections without any VBA code.